Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs, Enzo and American Badass Undertaker. I know you're already asking, you're probably wondering, why are you reviewing these two together? Shouldn't it be Big Cass and Enzo? Well, as you guys know, they had a fallout, right? And Enzo, he's looking for a new recruit. He's looking for a new seven foot tall monster. He's not coming back, we know that. I mean, I hope you come back. One more match, who wants to see that? I'd love to see one, at least one more WrestleMania taker. I know you're coming back for the 25 edition special, most likely just to be on the mic, but speaking of the mic, the man right here, the man with the mic skills, the certified G, the smack talker, Sky Walker. This figure is incredible. The facial expression on this, this has me sold. Oh my gosh. We picked these up from Walkout Wear using discount code HERO. This figure, this is very similar to the basic that we got in the Toys R Us exclusive. Only difference is that instead of a basic, we get it in elite form, right? So the box right here, I know we've gone over these boxes, but I, I do like like these boxes a lot I'm definitely a big fan of it definitely a big fan of uh, Rob's work right these are the last two figures that we still have yet to review yeah these will all get connected for sure so definitely look out for that this is gonna be awesome Rob you're doing a great job man from one artist to another good job you are just let's get it out I want to take a look at An Enzo he just how he captures the superstar is just amazing right so we got Enzo right here just screaming off the top of his lungs basically telling you that he's going to become cruiserweight champion and he, he did i mean the man pulled it off right because this attire this is based on the run when he was with uh with big Cass. the microphone right here it is uh same one that we got with big Cass. really cool microphone i gotta say i'm, I'm a big fan of it for sure it's it's <laughs> it's old school i love old school this is back oh it's i know I know uh, in the last review for Big Cast we went over this, but still, right? Got to look at. I mean, pretty much the exact same thing. We got the cheetah printed down at the bottom. It's got a lot of nice line work throughout. It even has a little tiny screw right there. You see that? That is awesome. So really nice microphone piece. I feel like it comes with definitely more or more chains for sure. Because the previous delete, I think it only yeah. See, it only had two. So the man is definitely blinged out, right? I mean. He's definitely making a, uh, a name for himself, and <laughs> he's making a lot of uh, enemies, for sure. You guys have probably already heard. He's getting a lot of backstage heat. Gotta say, this head scan is a lot better. The hairstyle on this one's, like, I like the hairstyle on this one, but the facial expression. <laughs> like, how did you manage to execute and make your eyes pop out that much? Because what they do is, uh, when they scan you, yeah, they do a 360-degree angle, and look how far they're sticking out. Like, it's crazy. So, really nice head scan. I do love the facial expression. The shirt right here, this is a, a certified G top for sure, baseball style, right? It does not clip on, but it's still pretty cool. On the back right there, it says zero dimes. Zero dimes given to what he thinks about what people say about him, right? And that's the attitude you got to have for sure. Enzo, you know, like, I know you get a lot of heat, man. Uh, <laughs> that microphone, those mic skills definitely get you into trouble. But that's kind of the attitude he has. And you got to have that for sure nowadays. I mean, just, uh, we're not going to talk about it. But we got to see with the shirt. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Pretty easy. Did go on smooth. Really no issues. The next one, come on. You got to kind of see what I do. How I put them on is I usually start to like have the arm facing back. It just, I don't know, it slides on a lot easier. So there it is with the shirt on. Got to mess around with the necklace a little bit. I'm pretty sure they would probably look better if it went underneath the necklace. But there it is. That is awesome. The pants right here, 100% LIT. Look at this. These are amazing. These are just incredible. I love this. This is uh, the white right there. The white definitely makes it stand out for sure. And, uh, you know, just in your display area. Uh, just really nice color. It's got the cheetah print down at the bottom. The socks right there, they are nice blue. Even the kicks too. The kicks are definitely nice. It's got a, a nice white outline right there down at the bottom for the soles. Really cool figure. Love this figure. Let's see if, if, uh, De if the Undertaker, if American Badass, wants to join Enzo. I don't think he will. He'll probably choke slam him before he ever, ever ends up joining. Oh, we gotta show the box. We gotta come on. See, this is <laughs> I'm so this is uh, just so excited to see this figure out out of the package for sure. Because we're getting the title right, we're getting the bandana. It even comes with a, a shirt right there. It's like uh yeah, it's just pretty much like a slap-on rubber shirt. Still cool. This figure. Oh, Undertaker, I hope that, uh, because I know they're starting to make, like, back, or, like, ba uh, backstage areas. I hope that they do come out with, uh, w with a motorcycle for Taker. I've seen 112th scale motorcycles that you could definitely use for him. But, Mattel, come on, you gotta put it out, too, man. Like, 
you, that's one thing that needs to complete the American Badass. And they are going to make the long hair style American Badass. This is when he had the, the short hair. And I think that's the one that everybody wanted. But a lot of people did miss out on this. So it's nice to see this. There's the art piece right there. Um, basically what Bill said from Mattel. He's like, we were going to make that one. But because we were putting out, they were putting out too many lines all back to back. It was basically because of time. They just didn't have the time for it. Since they had the mold on this, they just went ahead and still made the figure regardless. So, Or not made the figure, but re-released it. Um, this figure. So here's the accessories. There's the shirt right there. It's a, it's a big evil shirt right there. Look at that. Pain Syndicate. Right there, the belt. Oh, man, this is such a cool belt. This is definitely one of the best belts that WWE has ever made. I mean, not just in figure form, but just really awesome. I mean, it's got, like, the combination of new style and old style. Like, with the side plates, it definitely brings back, like, that, you know, late late... 80s early 90s look but then the the centerpiece right there that's when everything started changing right it's got world wrestling entertainment it's got the uh, scratch logo so really cool the bandana right here see i'm really glad that i picked this up um you guys know that i love making custom figures i ended up using my undertaker bandana to make uh k-dog conan right for the wolf pack this right here, no, oh, this this really completes it. Now, one thing that I am noticing from the previous delete for sure, come on, you gotta it looks a little, a little bit tight. You gotta play with it a little bit first. Um, are the pants? The pants right here on the old one, um, it does have the dead man ink on it. They did not. Oh, hold on, this is completely different. Oh, I didn't even see that. So it says right there, it's got here. It says pain. Big evil right there. That is cool. I do like the red a lot more. I know you guys already know how I feel about my red, but still definitely different. So it, it is slightly different. I mean, it is from the same era, just from a different night. This is uh, just a, see, just really completes it with the bandana. This one, I'm pretty sure, um, someone tell me or drop it in the comments, but I'm pretty sure this one came with a red bandana. So same head scan. The the attire right here, this is pretty much the same that uh, the same one that we got in the most recent WrestleMania exclusive. So really great figure. I, I really hope that we get that long hair American badass here. Hopefully next year. Most They did say that that will be most likely the next elite. And I mean, the Undertaker, the man always delivers, right? One more match, Taker. Come on. Until next time, everybody.